How's it going guys? Right, fresh from 1997, uh, today I will be having a look at the Gamecom. Um, probably one of the most hideous video game items in the universe. Uh, this thing always seems to get hideous reviews. I've never played one, um, and I've never actually owned one or even seen one until today. Again, just came in the post this morning. Uh, I've not turned it on yet, so um, let's have a quick look at it and uh, let's see, is it really as crap as they really say it is. Right, so first impressions of it, um, it kind of the same sort of size as uh, a, sort of like a Sega Game Gear, um, we nearly lost it, a uh, bit, bit thinner, um, quite lightweight to be honest, not really pocket size, um, unless yeah you have got sort of baggy jeans of 1996 then you'd probably easily be able to get this baby in there, um, so yes probably pocket size for the, uh, for the time. Um, it had actually got a couple of cool features uh, for sort of technology back then. Um, it had got a full touch screen, um, which again, first first handheld to have a touch screen. Um, you could actually connect this baby up to the internet as well, uh, 56, uh, 56k modem style. So we're and um, I'm not quite sure what you could actually do with it online, but you could do that. Um, it also had not one but two uh, cartridge slots, so you could have two games in at the same time. Um, and you has a lovely stylus on the front there. So um, yeah, that's that's about all the uh, the technology it had. Um, it feels fairly nasty, and it's yeah, it doesn't really do anything with me star wise at all. Um, I've got a speaker on the front there. Got our on and off button. Uh, a, B, C, and D buttons, menu, sound, and pause buttons. There, uh, the D-pad feels okay, a little bit sort of plasticky, but it, it's all right. Then on the side here, we've got our contrast and volume buttons. On the top, this is where we've got our uh, internet port, um, and then we've got our sort of power supply there as well. Uh, again, our one and two cartridge slots, and then it takes four. AA batteries there, already loaded those babies in, and we've also got a headphone jack on there as well. Uh, it also had a battery backup as well, so it would um, sort of save like telephone numbers and high scores etc, but when the battery went flat you lost every, all your information, so that kind of sucked. Um, so it was, they were kind of edging this out to be a bit like a, a PDA at the time, so it's got like a, it's got like a calendar on there and a phone book and a calculator and stuff like that, so yeah, fairly useless things. Um, let's have a quick look at a couple of the cartridges then. So this comes with uh, two games. Um, right, so we have Sonic Jam. Um, again, Sega released a, a, the rights to a couple of their games. Um, again, the games themselves weren't actually designed by Sega, they just given the rights and then uh, Tiger went off and basically bastardized them and made hideous games by the looks of things. Um, and I've also got um, Batman and Robin as well, so if uh, Arnie's in there, Mr. Freeze, then uh, that could be kind of cool. So yes, this party is cool, uh, otherwise that's really going to suck some ass as well. So they're the only two games I've uh, probably thankfully got for this thing. Uh, I think there was about 19 games came out for it when it was released. Um, but again, no, uh, no sort of um, third party support, it was all basically, they got the rights to a lot of things, but they just designed all the games in house. Um, badly, by the sound of it. Right, so let's turn on then the Tiger.com um, or yeah, Tiger Gamecom. Um, again, it's a monochrome screen, so it's much like the Game Boy. So hopefully, we can sort of pick it up. <laughs> there you go. Some amazing speech there of the. Uh, of the 90s. Right, so on our main menu screen here we've got uh, cartridges flashing there, we've also got a phone book, then we've got calendar, uh, calculator, high scores and solitaire as well. Right, so let's see, let's get the old stylus out then and we'll hit cartridges. Right, so we've got Batman and Robin and Sonic Jam. Alright, let's go Batman and Robin first. Ooh, there you go, a little animation. The cartridge is in. Batman and Robin. Oh, 
I think most of the systems actually got this game sort of free. Ah, uh, come on. Let's go. No, we don't want to exit. <laughs> Let's play the goddamn game. <laughs> there we go. Right, start options, exit. Start. So select your weird looking character. So we've got either Batman or Robin. Let's go Batman. So it gives you a, uh, a list of uh, randomly rubbish um, add-ons here. So we've got the uh, Batarang, Grappling Hooks, Ice Blast Cape, Gas Grenades, Ice Blades. Let's go Batarang Rams. Start. Level 1. Now, do I play with this or do I play with this? I'm going to go with this, right. <laughs> We're in. Ooh. <laughs> okay. So big, big sprites, I'll give it that. So basically a uh, pretty much simple sort of uh, walk along beat him up here with uh, Batman. Oh, got my battering ram out there. <laughs> oh, wee! Up we go. You can go up on the battering ram there. <laughs> um, yeah, it sounds like Batman's been. Uh, touched in an impure place, kind of where he wheeze when he gets beaten up. Um, I think he's getting off on being beaten up a bit too much. <laughs> That's just wrong. Very, very wrong. Again, it's when um, when the, the screen's moving, again, it is blurry as hell and you can barely see anything. I'd probably say it's nearly as bad as the supervision, if not worse. <laughs> but it's alright, it's an... <laughs> Bob Batman making sex sounds, um, it's, it's alright for a, you know, a fairly basic kind of... <laughs> there you go, he's getting gang raped at the end there. <laughs> Come on, someone finish him off. Alright, oh, there he goes, he's gone down as it were. Right, let's, let's have a look at uh, some Sonic games. So, um, yeah, Batman was okay. Um, so right, other cartridges then. Let's have a look at Sonic Jam then. Uh, so, yeah, this thing, pretty much useless then by the looks of things. If we're playing the games with, uh, with the, um, the actual D-pad, I think. Let's see if we can control it. Game start. Actually, you can play with your finger anyway, so you don't even need that. Right, so we've got Sonic 3, Sonic 2, and Sonic and Knuckles. Let's go Sonic and Knuckles. Choose your character then. So we've got Sonic, uh, Knuckles and Tails. Let's go Tails. <laughs> right, so nice cool big characters there. Makes the noises of uh, the Sega. We <laughs> uh, Again, blurry and slow. <laughs> Tails won't even go up the hill. <laughs> Let's get some speed up. Go, 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 go. Oh, right, just made it up to the top of the hill there. Uh, yeah, so the music is um, hideous. Um, again, I think they've taken the, the ring sound and that was about all they got. Um, and again, it's just, yeah. Slow blurry and has lost all the actual wonderful things about Sonic games. Um, so that I'm going at full speed here uh, down a hill really, really slowly. Um, so yeah, that's horrible. <laughs> what else we got? Let's try one of the other ones. Sonic 2 with Sonic. Is Sonic any better? Uh, no, is the answer to that. <laughs> Um, again, Sonic himself is still slow as hell. Again, the sound is all crackly, and uh, yeah, it's just slow as anything. Not good. Uh, so yeah, that's bad as well. And Sonic 3, just for the benefit of the doubt, let's play with Knuckles. Maybe Knuckles is really amazing. Oh, maybe slightly quicker. Yeah, the animation again is just horrible. Uh, 
It's really jerky and just fairly unplayable. Again, it looks kind of cool. If it actually worked properly, it'd be alright, because the size of the, you know, the sprites and stuff, you know, the detail is quite good, but it just plays like an absolute pile of crap. Right, um, so that's really about all I can say about the, uh, the Gamecom. Um, would I recommend buying one? Um, probably not, to be honest. Um, go and spend your money on something, you know, there's plenty more handhelds out there that aren't complete garbage. Um, so yeah, go and buy a game, an original Game Boy or, or Game Gear or Lynx or something because they're just a lot better, to be honest. Um, so yeah, this thing had a few cool new ideas that are, uh, you know, sort of ahead of its time. Um, again, some great sounding games um, that they released, things like Resident Evil and stuff, but the delivery, as you can see, is just truly awful. Um, so that's it, really. So uh, this has been Rich, UK Retro Game Addict, and uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully you won't see any more Gamecom reviews from me ever again. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over.